Hello. I wanted to make a little video um, response, jumping off point from a video that Joan of Arc posted recently uh, on November 25th titled Working with the Right Wing. This is not like a snark or anything. I really adore Joan and I think she makes great content, so definitely subscribe to her. But she says that she thinks there's value in um, t talks and conversation and working across the political divide between left and right, as long as it's 100% about women's rights. I don't necessarily disagree with that. However, I want to be sure if I am going to quote unquote work with women on the right, that they are genuinely focused on women's rights. Because I think so often the right wing quote unquote gender critical women are not really at all interested in women's rights when it comes to uh, abortion, when it comes to Title IX in the United States, for example, women's sports, um, when it comes to women having liberation from men and patriarchy. I often really don't think that quote-unquote gender-critical right-wing women are all that interested in women's rights at all. I think they're interested in women's spaces, such as bathrooms um, and sports. But that's kind of where it stops when it comes to the right wing. Um, right, right wing women are not going to work with us on reinstating Roe versus Wade in the United States, for example. Right wing women are not going to work with us on gay marriage, on gay adoption, on abortion on being critical of capitalism and beauty culture. I don't really think right-wing women are all that interested in women's rights. They're interested in the transgender movement and stopping it, which is obviously a good thing for women because the transgender movement is very detrimental to women. But we have to be so, so, so careful if we're going to talk about hands across the aisle stuff and if we're going to say that it's okay to do so as long as we're working together on women's rights, which is not what's happening. It's only about the transgender stuff. It has nothing to do with, like, from the right-wing women's perspective. It's not about women's rights. It's about maintaining women's spaces, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. But let's not get it twisted that they're at all interested in working with us on women's rights. They are not interested in working with us on abortion or gay marriage or gay adoption or women's rights to leave a life free of patriarchy um <laughs> right-wing women are not interested in that they're not interested in a lot of women's rights as we know these women who call themselves gender critical but are just conservatives are interested in the um, traditional family structure they're interested in men and uh, partnering with men and raising sons um, stopping abortion. So that's where I struggle when it comes to uh, talking about hands across the aisle. Um, because even though, <sighs> said this a million times, even though we both are interested in this issue, the trans issue, it's from different positions. It's not from the same angle. We're coming at it from different positions. Uh, radical feminists, um, lefty radical feminists, are coming at it from the detriment that it's going to do to women. And right-wing gender criticals are only interested in maintaining the gender status quo as it is. Uh, they don't want men taking what is women's or wearing woman face or whatever. Um, they are also interested in stopping all trans whatever because they see it all as fetishistic, and a large part of it is. But we know that there are like homosexual trans-identified people who are like trying to escape the homophobia ingrained in them or the oppressive patriarchal cultures they come from, whatever. We just come at the topic from different positions. And I think, yeah, if, if we are going to align with right-wing women on this... <sighs> okay, I guess, but I don't, I just, <laughs> you
yeah, I can't come up with the words because like I said, we come at it from different places and I don't see us having the same goal or goals in mind. Um, which isn't to say that I would rebuke right-wing women if I was at like a feminist event or whatever, or I would um, not be cordial. Like, obviously I would. And right-wing women are unfortunately just as captivated by patriarchy and indoctr- patriarchal indoctrination as any woman is. But eh, I just, uh, especially also as a lesbian, okay? As a lesbian, it's hard to want to ally with women who won't fight for my actual rights, okay? Um, Right-wing women are not interested in my rights to marry who I want to marry or if I ever wanted to be a parent. They're not interested in in that because they're so committed to the nuclear male female family um, and that parents need a mother or children need a mother and a father. Um, so I think I think when it comes to discussions about potentially working with the right, I find often that those come from white heterosexual women. Um the right isn't interested in the struggles of poor women, of women of color, of homosexual women, of disabled women. <sighs> They're interested in themselves. And I get that some are... <sighs> yeah, <laughs> this is already long enough. Um, so yeah, this video is not at Joan. This is not a slant at Joan. Joan is wonderful and I adore Joan. Um, I just had to share my opinions on this because seeing her video on my my feed uh, inspired it and you know that's the kind of crux of what Radical Ramblings started as was me seeing stuff on the internet and then making a video replying to it. So here I am. Um, I've rambled around this topic plenty in these (laughs) eight minutes or whatever. So uh, yeah I'm going to wrap that up. I will recommend um some videos in the description box below lisa's unholy alliances video and of course i will link to joan's video because she's the reason i made this video anyway aligning with right-wing women on certain topics is potentially okay but there's a lot of potential problems that need to be considered